I mean, I get that feeling from him also, like reading reading the dialogue of his inner monologue. Uh, you you hear like how he, like the, the way he talks is as if like he thought he could be a god, but he chose to help people and like be cautious about it and like plan ahead and put strategies and put forth onto what he does instead yeah. of like, instead of being a ruler. Like, uh, is that, was that, was that supposed to be inside there or did I just me interpreting it like that? No, you, you got it exactly. You got it exactly. And, and, in the full book, and we did this a little bit in the prelude and I'll make sure I'll send you the prelude. His main antagonist legacy also has a crown and also has similar powers, but he comes from a family of royalty and his views are the exact opposite. So, we show a lot of the parallels of just what environment, living conditions, social conditions, and choice, how it can affect whether somebody becomes or is viewed as a hero or a villain, a protagonist or antagonist, you know what I mean? So you get to see both of those perspectives, but eventually you also see these two forces clashing at some point because they're out for two different things. One is looking out for being a symbol to the people and the other is looking out for controlling the people, you know? You're talking about like the positive and the negative. You're talking about the, the protagonist and the antagonist. Are there are there going to be any anti-heroes in this story? Um, I think there'll be heroes that people will decide whether they view them as anti-heroes. Oh, or look not. at that! That's an answer. <laughs> no, keep going, please.